Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about enabling or disabling a guest account on your Macintosh computer. So this could definitely be a frustrating issue. Maybe you have a guest coming over and you want to set up another account for them. Then in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Keep in mind a guest account is different than a secondary account. Guest account means they browse, they shut it down, and it's all cleared out, so there's nothing that's going to be saved or left behind. So just make sure you're using that kind of just as like, as like a public library kind of computer. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by selecting the System Preferences button down in the System Dock. So go ahead and left click on that. Select Users and Groups. Select where it says click the lock to make changes. So go ahead and left click on that. Enter in your administrator password here. And then select underneath Other Users where it says Guest User. Click inside of here. And then you see on the right side you have options here where it says Allow Guests to Log into this computer. And there's a little description under here too. Where it says Enable the Guest User so that friends can temporarily log into your computer. Logging into the guest account does not require a password. Users cannot log into the guest account remotely. If File Vault is turned on, guest users can only access Safari. And when a guest user logs out, all information and files in the guest account's home folder are deleted. Just like I was saying. And you do have the option also to allow guests to connect to shared folders here. If you choose to do that, I probably would not recommend doing that. But for the first option, we're going to go ahead and allow guests to log in this computer. So go ahead and check mark inside of that. So once you're done with that, if you close out of here, reset your computer, there will be an option to sign into a guest account. And you can see it's easy to turn it off. So there you go. You can see that it just turned on, log in only. So if I were to close out of there, you can go reset your computer. It should be a guest account. If you want to turn off the guest account, you can always uncheck the allow guests to log into this computer at a later date. So just uncheck that. It should say it's off now. So again, very straightforward process, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.